Hey everybody, it's Hal. Today we're going to teach you Space Oddity. Okay, this came out in first of all in 1969 and then in 1972 it was released a couple, released a couple of different times. And uh, this was right around when the astronauts were going to the moon. So this is an interesting time. Everybody was pretty excited about the space program. So this is maybe why it got to have so much airplay and so much popularity from the time. Okay, let's just start. First of all, we're going to do the chords, and then we'll get right into how to play the song. F major 7. This is your first chord. I like to do it like this instead of like this. I guess you can do it like that if you want to. You can plug it with your fingers if you want to. But I'm using a pick, so... But I like this sound. It's more delicate. And then we go... I use that E minor right there. That sounds really good. Back to F major 7. So we're playing four strings, back to E minor. We did this four times, and I'll talk about the timing when we get into the song. The next chord is C, E minor. I use a full E minor this time. We do that twice, then we go A minor, A minor with the G bass. D7 with an F sharp bass. Sometimes I like to do the add nine right there. Sounds really cool. Let's see, and I'm going through, looking through here. What else do we have? Oh yes, we have an E chord. This is ground control to major tom. You've merely made the grade. F chord. And then we do an F minor. I like to do them as bar chords. Sound the best that way. A chord. Yeah. You know what? I need to check my tuning just to make sure that I'm on. You know, when you have a lesson with me or if you're working with me online, always tune your guitar, please. Thank you. David Bowie does, he does this. I really can't do that very well. He does like a, an F chord like this with his thumb over the top. Or maybe he only does something like that, but I can't do that. My Either my neck's too big or Something's going on. He, he might have a bigger hand than me. Longer fingers or something. So I would do it like this. If I was going to do it, these are bar chords. That's C on the 8th fret. F on the 1st fret. G on the 3rd fret. A on the 5th fret. basically the same thing as what David Bowie did, except he did that positioning instead of this positioning. Those are all the chords, so let's move on to the song itself. So we start out with F major 7. Three. If you count it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you count 8th notes, it would be like 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could do this. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now when we 
get to that E minor, we could do that to it. We've got that E minor chord, the four strings, and then we hit second fret right there, and then the low E string. That would sound cool, huh? So you do that four times, F major seven to E minor. And then we go into the verse. You do that twice, C to E minor. Major tone. And we do it again. with a G bass, D7 with an F sharp bass, and add the 9 if you want. Now on the recording on the left hand side, you'll hear 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's like a countdown. That's what it's about. A minor with a G bass. And may God's love be with you. And then right here, as it hangs on the recording on the record, it does some stuff with a synthesizer and slides. In concert, they actually used a slide on a guitar. And then we go into This is ground control to play guitar. A really interesting thing because it's a different kind of a, a verse. So we got a C chord, three, four, five, six, seven, E chord, really made the F, F minor, Want to know, show you so this right here we got eight beats and we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to E for eight beats. F for eight beats, and then F minor four beats, C for four beats, go back to F for eight beats. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. Right? So you got F minor four beats, C four beats, and then back to F. And then we do the same chord progression where it goes, this is major form to ground control. And the stars look very F C different today. F. It's really interesting, isn't it? F F minor C. F F minor C. F. Going to for here. This is a, like a bridge. Am I sitting in my tin can? Or sitting in a tin can? And this is just like the intro. F major seven. E minor. Oh, I forgot the next chord. B flat. Let it earth is blue. And there's nothing I can do. Yeah, I forgot B flat. Let's show it to you. Here's a B flat. First fret. I did it like this, where I just put this finger down over three strings, the uh, D string, G string, and B strings, A minor, and there's nothing I can do. And, uh, or you could play the B flat up here. would be B flat, A minor, G, F. And then we have this, or you could do it like this.
is so fun to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now if you do the bar chords, one, two, three, four, five, six. Whether you do it with the open string chords, that bar chord right there, or you do it with all bar chords, right? You got to do the timing: one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And... Now, the best way to do this is just to listen very carefully to the recording and figure out what to do, but that F chord needs an upstroke right there. You can do the rest with down strokes. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. So when I do that bar chord, I'm only hitting like three or four strings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're into the lead, and let's do that really quick. These are the chords to the lead, and you can improvise any kind of a lead that you want. We've got F, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E minor, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. E, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we go on to the next part. Though I'm past one hundred thousand miles. Minor, and I think my spaceship knows which way to go. Tell my wife I love her very much. She knows. Now this is where it gets kind of spooky, right? This is where we go G chord. Ground control to major tone. Now this chord right here. Oh, I forgot to show you this chord. You can use an E with a G sharp bass, like this. Go from a G. Ground control to major tone. Fourth fret, looks like a D chord. I'm muting my A string. I've got an open D note there. Kind of an interesting note. Um, or you could do like a diminished chord. That would be okay too. It would be ground control to major tone. Diminished chord sounds pretty good. Your circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Can you hear me, Major Tom? So we've got this G, either the G sharp diminished or the E with a G sharp bass. A minor. Your circuit's dead. G bass with an A minor. There's something wrong. D7 with an F sharp bass. Maybe the add nine if you want. Hear me, Major Tom. C chord. Can you hear me, Major Tom? If you sing it like that, then you're singing the ninth to this chord. Can you hear me, Major Tom? G chord. Can you hear? Can you hear? And he says, "Here am I, floating round my tin can." They overlap. The other bridge. And then we've got our B flat chord.
Now on the live version, and I like to do live versions because I'm playing it live. So instead of trying to do something ethereal like it's on the record, um, what he does, he does this. He does that part again. And then we go back into the lead, F, E minor, A, C, D, E, and then they end with this. which I really like, because it's nice and punchy. And that's it. So live, that's the way David Bowie played it. And I like that the best. All right, that's it. There you go. Now, I want to thank you very much for coming here. You can get this lead sheet in my book, Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets, by following the links in the description. Any size donation will get you the book, plus updates through 2021. There's some earrings that you can buy. And you know what? If you buy a pair of earrings, I will give you my book too and the lead sheet to Space Oddity. So go get some earrings from Savvy. This will help the uh, channel and it will help her. She loves it. Instagram, Simple Joy Earrings. Go check it out. Links are in the description. Thanks. We'll talk to you later, okay? Mm -hmm.